cachivo con anas. It's two. We gotta count them. One of them, he just got out Three. of the dodge. Oh, he didn't get out quick enough. He back there shake rattling and rolling. Hang on those others. There's one right there. I just missed him. The reeds are in the way. Yes, he went. He went uh, right Damn to left. Man. He's a great shot. Damn. We're about 20 yards from him, y'all. I'm going to sneak closer and see if we can't see one that we didn't notice before. But right now we got three. We're going to get ice right away. We got some people that are uh, gonna be taking these iguanas today. We're entering the season that everybody really eats them and uh, really enjoys the eggs. So I know there's gotta be more right there. Let's just scan before I pull up anymore. Let's see if that's an iguana. No, they got mother-in-law's tongue, that uh, Sansevieria growing in there. Looks like iguanas here and there, and it's not also an invasive plant. Iguanas y'all, look at the size of this female. How many eggs do you think she's got in there? Look how big she is. That's a young male I think right here in my right hand. No, both girls. But look how fat this one is. Look at that y'all. All of them were single shots. This is a boy. Got you iguanas? We're gonna go get some ice right now. Dugging. Told you I'm gonna show you the iguana. I'm gonna show you the iguana. We got iguana. Bad girl, you a bad girl. Bad girl. <laughs> Don't shoot at me. Is that a belly? That's one two. It was just one yes. two. One two. That was uh -huh. <laughs> There we go. Sleeper. Where the other one? Almost like, oh no, what? Earl, he got out of there. Wait, wait, there's an one by the box. I think it's small though. There are babies all around the box. There's a whole bunch of them. There were like four in the scope when I looked. We got a little guy over here. He might be big enough to eat. We'll see. Stressing. And you're on a rampage right now. Yeah, the atomic's so fun shooting um, around 20 yards. Do we see others? I don't see others, right? I just don't want to jump out and scare some. I see some small ones. I'm sure it's there. We may not see it right away, but they're watching us. I don't see any big ones. It's funny, I call this the little one. This is a really good sized female. Like, look, this is a big iguana. Makes me wonder if some of the other ones I called little were maybe not so little. They're so obscured by the grass, it's hard to tell. But this guy's definitely not little. Gojira. Got you iguanas. Okay guys, I am back out here in my own backyard and I got a really cool box from Air Guns of Arizona. They have been trying to help me with a target that would be perfect for practicing for iguanas. And so they have finally come up with this awesome new iguana target that's self-resetting and it is heavy duty, metal, it could take lots of pellets, and here he is! Our new iguana target. It has an awesome new uh, 
paint job on it with lots of different markings so you can actually make out the iguana. A nice heart shot and a head shot to get those good shots in on the iguana. And hopefully you can get in practice so if you come down here to Florida, we can get some real ones. This is, I think I'm doing that right. So you, you mount him up on that, shove him in the ground and go pull out your air gun so that you can shoot him. I think I have to shove this in the ground further than that for him to stand up, but there he is. So got you iguana and hopefully you could shoot him and say got you iguana and mean it too. So guys, I wanted to share with you a really cool feature of the targets that you get at Air Guns of Arizona. They paint their targets with really nice paint jobs with shadows and oftentimes markings and stuff like that on their little whistle pigs and their iguanas and all those things like that. So when you shoot up these targets, of course you lose some of the paint. And so to maintain your target in the condition that you prefer it to be in and to keep it looking nice and iguana-y, they actually send you these really cool stencils that allow you to keep your target in perfect condition. So this stencil is going to be our white stencil so that we can ensure he has the little circles on his mouth and is an iguana, not a big old green lizard. And this one, of course, is going to allow us to put his dark green markings. And this one allows us to put all the black shadows over the top for the detail. So um, if you do get one of these targets, you can keep it looking like an iguana and get shots off on him every day. Remember, he is self-resetting, so he's a whole lot of fun, even from a distance, to go out and shoot some iguanas in the backyard. So here we are with the iguana target, and it appears that if we shoot him on the bottom, that it will, uh, that if you shoot him on the top, you could shoot the bottom one and reset the top target. So it's self-resetting target, and you can get in both types of shots. This is technically the Iguana Solutions target over at Air Guns of Arizona, and um, I hope to bring it out to the range and show y'all hitting it at uh, different distances with the Concept and the Atomic and some of my other guns, and we can see how well it resets and how well the Iguana takes some shots. All right, guys, we're at a spot that um, is used as a rental and they hate the iguanas at this property and they actually cause them issues with their business. So we're over here trying to get some iguanas for them just for fun. And um, if they're big enough to eat, we have ice in the back of the truck so that we can feed a bunch of people. We have like five different people wanting iguanas right now. We're gonna get them to them right away. It was about to get too high and the background was going to be the house. I had to take it. Okay, I see an iguana right here in front of the truck. You see it? Yeah. The orangey guy. Got my gun at a weird angle. I'm not sure if this is going to work. I'm all shot over here. What was that? I have a weird angle I can't get my gun right. Big boy. Stressing. One in front of him. One, I think there's one to the left of that too. No, it's a tuft of grass. Nice one on work. the rock in the distance. Right, there's plenty of them out here. Okay, hang on, we're gonna pull up like this. So stick up their head right here by the water. Mm -hmm. See if we can't spot them, and we're going to throw down some fruit. See if the ones in the bushes don't come down without us getting out. Amazing how they blend. We didn't even notice this iguana right here. Look, I think it was behind the pole for me when I pull up. I'm going to have to back back up. It's going to go through the fence on me. There it is. I pulled up. Ooh. Wow. He took that one. Yeah, he did. He took yeah, it like a champ. Dog. Where's the other uh, mag? All right. It's amazing how you don't see them. This one was sitting here the whole time and we didn't notice it. See There's another one on the fence line. I saw it, but I can't take that because of that house in the right. background.
at my old mind bender. Kind of spinning in circles, chasing his own tail. Ooh, you can just see the pellet just slides itself down to the top of his head. We're gonna go grab those quickly because the sun gets them so hot so fast. We don't want them to go bad because people are gonna be eating these. We already had the ice. So we're just gonna check though. When we get out the truck, we're giving up hey, on getting the guanas. There's right another here. one popped up on the rock. He's been on the rock. That house is back there. I don't trust. We can't it. find an angle. Well, I can probably can't. I want to throw fruit over here real quick as bait. So we're gonna throw down some fruit. See if we can get some of them to come down because some people feed them here. And then we're gonna do some big chunks, like quarter cantaloupe type size pieces. Ah! Y'all wanted bloopers? Oh, and it doesn't smell good either. Oh, man. Yeah, so these people supposedly feed them, and it's hard for them to see a little piece out in the grass. But some big pieces like that is perfect. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Oh. All right. I'm gonna go pick up my iguanas in just a second. We just wanna make sure we're not scaring anybody else, but I think we're good. We're gonna go throw them on ice and then we're gonna go around these bushes and see if we can't spot a couple more. We're shooting in between the houses here. Should be able to get this guy. Took the side of his face. Oh, there's a big one up there. See it? Right. I wonder if I could pull it. I'm gonna cut the truck and get this guy that's to the left. Right here. If nothing else, just to help the people. We're gonna turn the power down since that house is in the background. Shooting on low. Also, from my angle, I don't know about y'all's angle, but my angle, it's almost water background because we're at this upper angle here. A little closer than the other guys. My goodness. Dang, that was straight across the back of his head, yeah. Like almost like you want to sever his spine at the base. A little bit to the right. Boom. Right where you want it. He's right in the sweet spot. Right there, now. Hang on. there were more iguanas around the bush, but I don't want to leave these in the sun. Let's go grab these guys. just crossed that log. Look, there's one swimming across. Look at him. Look how clear the water is right now. Look at him go. Not gonna get me, he says. Look at the big boy across too, in the rocks. Big orange boy. Come on this side, buddy. Many more we have. Oh man, she, she got eggs, huh? Oh yeah, they're big. Oh, we got a flipper. Let me go get the air rifle sweep for a second. That's your eyes peeled. How fat this one is. Look how fat she is. Like compared to that, look how fat that lizard is. That is a fatty right there. Got you a bonus. How many is this? Five in the spot. Okay, here we go. We got two iguanas about 20 yards, and then we got two more about 25. Who are you going for first? The closest one. Copy. The one on the right, close. The larger? Yep. He's on a walk, he's on a move. Oh, shit. Ooh, caught him. He's a uh, done for. Who are you going for next? The one to the left? Got yeah. him. Stressed him. Going to the other one to the left. It's a lot farther shot. Dropped him. 
the other one's curious in the background. Shot low. Whoa, you saw like two more moves? He just made two more iguanas moves? Yes. Come in the rear. Are you on high power? Oh, Caught him, dropped him. No, I was on low. That's what's happening. Yeah. I was on low. I was like, why is it going low? There, I got him. Under the tree. Can you see him? I got him under the tree. And this plan is to the right under the tree. If you can just try to... Actually, I'm getting the one in the grass. Okay. To the right. Right. Dropped him. Then there's one right behind him, sitting in the shade under that grayish bush. He's just laying there. Right. Right there. Caught him. Oh, there's one next to him, to the left. I'm out of pellets. Y'all, we just took down like eight iguanas. All right, let's see. They're gonna be thrilled. This place has so many problems. They're digging under the buildings. This is so much fun. <laughs> they have a lot of iguana issues here. Where are you going? Under the bush, there's still one more. Caught him. I did catch him, but I think it hit closer to his neck. Hang on. Got him. He's sleeping. He's next to a bunch of dead iguanas. Get this guy. We got a, is that a zombie or a new iguana? Yeah, no, they zombie up. You can see like where you shot. You him sure at. can. It's like, man, I have another. Whew. Volunteering for extra shots. Got a atomic. He might be able to see. Is on point. Yes, yes. We're going to uh, sneak up over there and see if we can't see a few more since they're hanging out under the bushes and they can be spotted like that. Matter of fact, I'm going to back up and then I'm going to pull parallel like this just closer. And they just got John Wick. iguanas. Okay guys, we just wanted to show you all some of the craziness that we see with these iguanas. This is an iguana we just shot today and he was living with his arm ripped off and actually has the bones hanging out of his arm. So you can see how they have the two uh, bones in it, just like a flat in a chicken wing, like I've told y'all. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's really interesting that he had this uh, going on with him and he was still living just fine because iguanas are extremely resilient and able to survive so many conditions, which is part of the reason we have such an issue with them. So, got you, iguana. And this is wild. Some zombie stuff. Hang on. I gotta go around. Just, yeah. just feel from here, and we're gonna see if we can see him from this angle. He's right here. Freaking right here. I can see him under the bushes. Right here. You see him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's close. He was high. That's so a super close shot. So we're gonna switch this to Tim, and he's probably about seven yards. He knows something's up. Oh, he didn't figure it out quick enough. I had a branch in the way, but I guess I was able to get past it. Yeah, you thread a needle. There was another one. There he is. He's in the grass right before the oh. Uh, right. Right before. We have an audience. We sure So do. I'm gonna show you what we're looking at. What's we watching got us? Watching it. <laughs> this is where we're doing this at. So you always try to make sure you're doing the right thing. And so it's we have permission first. to be here, and we've self-reported we are we are where we're, we're supposed to be. Okay, we're going for this one on the grass. Should be right about ten miles. Sleeper. It's actually one of the rocks back there over the water. You see it about twenty-five yards. So just pay attention to. How many iguanas you saw taken out so far? And this isn't even a quarter of an acre. This right. is how many iguanas can, how dense it can be in this a very, small, very small property area. has easily 100 to 200 iguanas living in it. Yeah. And then a bunch more that pass by. It's probably, I'm gonna go I don't for know, the 30. One on Got a lot of property. He had no clue. Y'all saw he had his mouth open. All right, got you, iguanas. I don't see any more, but I bet 50 will run when we get out. 
we're gonna pick these up and get them on ice too and people will be able to pick which ones are big enough and worth their while to skin smaller ones will have to go to the dump iguana just jumped out the tree Good night, sweetheart. He was right here in this tree, and when we opened the door, he ran. Oh, man, we got to count these when we get out. Are there more right here before I open the door? Water number one. Man, it already feels hot to the touch. Feel the tail. This is shot placement. Feel his tail. I already know. Iguana number two. Iguana number three. Ooh, took the eye out. Wait, Wait, there's somebody over here. Iguana number four. Five. This is six. And now we're going for the ones that I told you were under the bushes. So number seven was under the bushes. Number eight was under the bushes. And this guy over here, number nine, was under the bushes trying to get away. <laughs> Got your iguanas, to be honest, they're kind of heavy. So, um, yeah, we're going to move our way along here. We're going to run back to another spot so that iguanas have a chance to come back out. We're probably going to put some bait out so they have a chance to come out and have a reason to come out of the trees. And we'll be back. Got you iguana.